Hello guys, I'm Anjali here and as you can see I have the Nexus 5X over here with me and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to root Nexus 5X and uh, as you might be knowing I have already done a video on how to root Nexus 5X but that was a traditional video and after rooting with that method you will not be having Android Pay working so if you want Android Pay to be working and you do not want to mess around much with the device then this is the method which you should follow and this is a systemless root method so yep uh, that's pretty much it so in order to root the phone just go into about phone then tap on build number 7 times so as you can see it will say you are now a developer then go into developer options and make sure that OEM unlocking is enabled so enable OEM unlocking and then enable USB debugging also and uh, if you get something like this that is allow USB debugging then select ok and that's pretty much it on the phone now and uh, so let's switch to my PC now and in order to use the ADB commands and fastboot commands you will need to have uh, fastboot and ADB working and uh, this is the most important step I'll give the direct link of a guide in the description box below just follow that guide and install ADB and fastboot on your PC and if you do not have ADB or fastboot uh, you cannot go any further so make sure to install ADB and fastboot if you do not have ADB or fastboot installed on your device and all the files which I'm going to use in this video will be linked in the description box below so do not worry about that and now we need to open the command window over here only so for that hold shift button on the keyboard so hold shift button on the keyboard and at the same time press the right click of your mouse press the right click of your mouse and you will see something as open command window here open it up and now write adb devices and as you can see it, it is giving some output and this is the device that we have connected so uh, basically this is the output that it is showing and now let's boot into the bootloader so for that you need to use command that is adb reboot bootloader and now our nexus 5x will boot into the bootloader mode and if you take a look over here then device state is locked so the bootloader of the device is still locked it is not unlocked and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader also so now if you want to unlock the bootloader then simply write this command that is fastboot oem unlock and you will get something like this press the volume up button to go over yes and then press the power button to select that and now it will say device state as unlocked and uh, it turned from green to red so yeah that's how it is so we have successfully unlocked the bootloader of the device and now we need to boot into the twrp recovery this is the twrp recovery over here and for that we can use this command that is fastboot boot twrp the name of the file dot img and this is the twrp recovery file name for me and this name should be exactly similar what you are seeing over here so this is the name which you should copy and paste over here and after that don't forget to write dot img and uh, yeah after you enter the command simply press enter on your keyboard and the device should boot into twrp recovery now so it will ask you for enter password select cancel over here and if it asks you keep system read only then select swipe to allow modifications because we need to root our device so we need to allow some modifications and if we go into install then you will see that internal storage is completely empty and that is because we have just now unlocked the bootloader and all the internal storage is wiped and there are two methods by which you can flash the super SU zip file first method is that simply reboot your device then copy the super SU zip file from PC to an internal storage then come back to twrp recovery head over to install and select the twrp zip file but uh, that's quite hectic and it will take 5 more minutes so i don't want to waste that much time then you can simply go over here that is advanced then select adb side load so select that and select swipe to start side load and uh, you will get some errors like this just ignore those errors and now we need to flash the TWR and now we need to flash this beta super SU zip file and to use the adb side load commands you will need to have uh, adb which is higher than 1.0.32 so i'll give the direct link of this also in the description box below then simply copy the beta super SU zip file from over here to this folder after you will get and you will get this folder after extracting and now once again hold shift key on your keyboard press right click on the mouse at the same time without leaving the shift button 
then select open command window here and now write a command that is adb side load then copy and paste the zip file's name from here and the zip file's name will vary according to the time when you're flashing and do not worry if the zip file's name is different for you so copy and paste that name and write dot zip that is dot zip and uh, if we go over here now then you will see that it has already started flashing so in case of adb side load make sure that you select dot zip and in case of twrp image file as that is an image file write dot img over there so as you can see adb side load is complete and we have successfully rooted our device basically and now hit on reboot system and if it asks you for install super su now select do not install over here do not uh, install or swipe to install over here this is uh, this is not at all good so just select do not install here and now the device will boot into the normal system and we'll get everything working with root also working